uh, where each note needs to be. And I, I'm kind of guessing that it's leaning more towards the A. It's not in the middle. It's not further down here. It's up here. And it, I'm guessing that it needs to hit this line here, the A, because all these other notes here are hitting the A. So what I'm going to do is, with the arrow tool selected here, is I'm actually going to hover my mouse over this horizontal line that's going through this waveform, click and drag it all the way up to this A. And you'll notice that it highlights that entire area there, it auto selects it so we can easily move it. And you can you can select whatever area you want. Say if you don't if you want to you don't particularly want to uh, move that entire area. Say you only want to move half of it. Is you can click near it and make your own box. And it, then if you click it, it'll only it will only affect that one area. But we want to affect the entire area. So now we've moved that entire. Um, part of the waveform here, oops, that entire part of the waveform here, that's another good thing, I made a mistake there and this undo and retool, redo tool will um, correct it and it's unlimited so you can go back as many times, you know, go go back and forward as many times as you've, as, um, as any changes you've made so it's not limited to a certain number of redos and undos. Okay, so now we've made that change, let's have a listen and see how it sounds now. Taken time to see. You'll notice that's sounding a lot better. It's hitting that note now. You'll also notice if you're paying attention that up here in this little black grid here, you'll notice there was a green line that shot up here. Let's have a look. I'm just gonna move the map the cursor over here so we just play this part. Have a look at this box up here. See there. What that's doing is representing how much of a change you've made to that particular waveform. And the more this way it goes, the more of a change you've made. Now it does go into the red, which means you're going to likely hear um, some artifacts. It's going to sound a little unnatural. And that, you know, if that's the, the, the approach you're going for, that's fine. Um, but in this case, that's not the effect that we're going for. And it's in the green, so it's kind of telling us that it's not too bad. And you can hit you can hear if it you know if you've made too much of a, uh, too much of a, a change. Let's just drag this whole thing up to the the A sharp here, and you'll notice um, a difference. Let's have a listen now. Into C. There, you'll notice. You see, it went all the way up to the red there, and that's saying you know whoa 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 you know you've made quite a bit of a change there. You're gonna hear um, some artifacts. You're gonna hear it sounding a little artificial. Okay, so there's this other area up here. Um, that's not quite hitting the note it needs to. I'm guessing that it's going to need hitting the B because it's leaning more towards that area. So let's just drag this up to the B and have a listen. Time to see. Okay, that's not that's sounding pretty nice. Areas like this where it's not quite. Um, it's not quite on this note and it's not quite on that note, it's kind of hovering in the middle, it's it's guesswork. But what I am guessing is because the actual waveform here is hitting the A, it's trying to be an A. But also, just because the horizontal line here isn't hitting the actual note, it doesn't mean that your voice isn't hitting the note. Um, as you can tell, that we've got this line here, but my actual my natural vibrato of my voice hit the note anyway so I'm not actually going to change this note at all. If we zoom in you'll notice that this line here isn't on the actual A but my vibrato of my voice has hit the A anyway so if we play this note time to and it's there's kind of a a natural slide up to the B anyway so if I made a change, like if I dragged that down there and I changed, you know, I played it now. Time to. It's a little too much now. If I take that back, I don't know whether you can notice that, whether you can notice the difference, but there are some changes that you you may not want to do um, because you want to you want to leave some natural um, forms in there. You want to leave some, uh, you know, you don't want it all to be altered and all to be changed because then you are going to start, you know, you're going to start noticing that it's sounding a little fake. 
and that's not something you particularly want to do. Okay, um, this is turning out to be quite a long tutorial, so I'm going to try and get to the point. To go back to the original um, size, you can double click here on the zoom tool, and that's going to zoom you all the way back out again, ready to zoom in on another part. Um, but I actually want to keep, I want to keep on this area here. Okay, so we've altered this here and we've altered that there. Um, I'm guessing that this area here needs kind of pushing up slightly there. Let's have, let's have a listen at that. Taking time to see. Okay, that's sounding pretty nice, and you can always, you know, always unsolo the track whenever you want. Taking time to see. See how it's going to fit in with the actual rest of the music, um, and that's sounding pretty nice. Um, we've made slight alterations here. Another thing you can do is you'll notice that on this particular line, this note here that I'm hitting here, there's some natural vibrato that's going on. And I'm just going to zoom in again. Say, for example, that there is a little too much vibrato there, and I want to calm it down. Okay, let's solo this. See. Yeah, I want to calm that vibrato down a little. Actually, as it happens, I I I, I wouldn't want to. I think that sounds pretty nice. But say um, the artist you're working with is saying, "Oh no, no, no! I want it sounding this, this, and this." Um, what you can do is you can come down to this tool here, this LFO tool, and it kind of looks like a vibrato anyway. So you can you can tell what it is. And you'll notice that your cursor changes if you hover it over the line, and if you drag. And if you click and drag, sorry, you can tell that there, you can see that it's changing the level of vibrato. You can whack it up or you can do it all the way down so it's completely flat. Um, obviously, the less you do, the, the, more, uh, the, the more, obviously, the more change you're going to be able to notice. So um, be careful with how much you actually change on this. Um, but, okay, so let's... That's how, that's how it is originally, and say the person wants it down just a touch, so let's knock it back to about there. Let's have a listen now. See? Okay, that's a, that's a bit better. Um, so that's one way of doing it. You can uh, also completely write your own. There's this curve tool here. It looks like a pen, and that's essentially what it is, is you can draw your own um, waveform there. See? There, you can obviously tell that that's been... That, that's, I was just uh, um, kind of demonstrating what it does. Um, but what you can actually do, say if an area um, you made a vibrato, say this section here, say I wanted to just uh, change this section here, so I'm going to select it, and say that I want the vibrato here, but I don't want any vibrato here. Well, what you can do is you can either draw in your own there like that and that's going to do whatever you've drawn in there or if you want it completely flat is you can come over here to this line tool here and simply create a line and it will make that entire area flat and then you can come down here to the LFO tool and make your own vibrato and what that's going to do is the more you do and you can up and down is obviously the amount of vibrato and left and right will introduce more vibrato like that you see left and right like that and up and down like that so let's have a listen at this <laughs> see there you'll notice that it added a little bit more vibrato there but obviously I don't want to do any of that. Okay, so that's pretty much on oh, the eraser tool. If you've made any massive changes, and the eraser tool here just simply knocks it back to the absolute original. Like that. There you go. Okay, and that's pretty much the basics of. Um, of the vocal there's obviously a lot more down here um, but we're 23 minutes into a tutorial and that's um, a little too much uh, even for me
so I'm going to leave it here. I do encourage you to actually just get stuck in and experiment. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, be sure to check out our website at www.mcistudio.co.uk. We have a ton of free stuff, including our new uh, MIDI starter pack. It has um, some pretty cool stuff, so go check it out. We've got our tutorials are all up there. This tutorial will be up there. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'm sorry, but I think I, I would have had to have cut this into um, in some parts because there's only 15. They only allow 15 minutes. Um, so thank you ever so much for for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have done. If you haven't done, um, please do so. And uh, like I said, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And I will see you next time for hopefully um, a mastering tutorial. And um, take care, have fun, and I'll see you next time.